Welcome back to FSU Headlines. I'm Scott Atwell, president of the FSU Alumni Association, coming to you from outside the Florida capital. You know, the state of Florida is the gateway for trade to Latin America, so it's fitting the United States Undersecretary for International Trade is a Floridian. He also happens to be a two-time Florida State University graduate. Francisco Sanchez was recently back on his old stomping grounds, traveling from Washington, D.C. to Tallahassee for a speech before the Florida Chamber of Commerce. We had a chance to catch up with him later in the day Hello. outside the governor's so office. So uh, Mr. Undersecretary, your resume on online lists all the speeches you've given the past two or three years, and the subject matter is wide-ranging. If you could give just one of those speeches each and every day of the year, which speech would it be? I would probably focus on the importance of entrepreneurship, um, making it, in our country, making it easy for people with an idea, people with a business plan uh, to grow a business. And then I would add to that, that once you have that business going, uh, if, it's a, if it's a good or a service that's exportable, don't forget that your market isn't just your community, it's not just your state, but it's the world. We live in a global marketplace. And that'd probably be my message that we've got to continue to support entrepreneurs in our country and that we've got to make sure that they sell their goods or services all over the world. Well, you visited with our governor today, Governor Scott, and that must have been something that resonated with him. I, we're very much aligned on that issue. Uh, he, uh, he and I talked a lot about the importance of getting Florida businesses active in international trade. Now, Florida's doing good. There are about 38,000 Florida businesses that export to the world. So we have a good foundation here in Florida, but I'd like to see that number grow. Well, you're helping the president uh, make good on a goal of doubling U.S. exports. And what sectors of the American market do you think are best poised to be a major player in that uh, resurrection? Well, fortunately, we have a lot of sectors that are, that are well poised to help us. First, the services sector generally. Uh, we do very well in a whole array of services, financial service, construction management, uh, tourism. Tourism is, it may seem counterintuitive that tourism is an export, uh, but it's our number one services export, and of course, that's important to Florida. So in the tourism and generally the services sector, we do very well. So uh, the United States, although it, we, we kind of get a bad rap that we're not a manufacturing country anymore, that's just not true. We're still one of the top three manufacturers in the world, and the president has recommitted uh, to building our manufacturing sector, and we've got a good foundation to make that happen. A couple of years ago, I asked an alumnus who works at an ad agency in New York to help us with a tagline for Florida State University. And what he came up with was that from here, anything is possible. And he was talking about this sleepy Tallahassee, how you could come here to school and then go anywhere in the world and, and, and make an impact. And that's really about you. So how did you get from here, from Tallahassee, to there, where you are today? I would say Florida State had a big role in it, and I'm not alone. One of the most amazing things uh, for me is when I travel around the country, whether it's in Washington, D.C., or New York, or Los Angeles, or San Francisco, or Chicago, or Miami, I find FSU alumni, and they're doing amazing things, whether they're in the high-tech uh, industry in uh, Northern California, whether they're in the movie business uh, in Los Angeles and Hollywood, or whether they're working in government in uh, Washington, D.C., they are uh, a talented bunch of folks. Um, and so I think FSU gave me quite a foundation. Now, I studied business and Spanish as an undergraduate, and then I went to law school here. And all, all the, both the undergraduate and law school experience um, were very important to me. Uh, not only did I learn a lot, but I also established long uh, relationships that have continued to be enriching in my career to this very day. Well, thank you for making us proud. You're very kind. Uh, I'm happy to be here, and uh, thank you for letting me talk with you. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Florida State University Headlines. The FSU Alumni Association is a membership-based organization. If you or someone you know would like to become a member, the information at the bottom of the screen will be useful. On behalf of the 290,000 FSU alumni around the world, I'm Scott Atwell. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.